So as a lot of you know, Toonami helped revolutionize how anime was looked at in the modern day. And when I say Toonami, I really mean Dragon Ball, Cowboy Bebop, those kinds of things that were airing on Toonami at the time that helped introduce anime to a lot of people that were it wasn't really accessible to. Then, as soon as the turn of the century happened, we started getting a lot of new stuff coming in, and then we had the arrival of the original Big Three. The original Big Three consisted of Naruto, One Piece, and Bleach. These series were everywhere, and they're still continued even to this day. Uh, the Naruto series has the Boruto series, One Piece is still ongoing, and Bleach is in transition question mark i'm not really sure where kubo is going um the hell arc is probably going to arrive in the next couple of years or so but kubo doesn't really like getting told when and what to write <laughs> he kind of he learned his lesson already so he's, he's, gonna, he's gonna take his time to be honest i would not be shocked at all if at the conclusion of the thousand year blood war anime we get like a teaser or something for the hell arc and then the maybe the arc begins that may, maybe late maybe later in the year i'm not sure but what i want to discuss today is I want to discuss is there a new big three and why the original big three was so successful so in my opinion I think if we were to look at possibly just looking at sales you'd have to look at Jujutsu Kaisen, My Hero Academia, and most likely Demon Slayer. These three in terms of pure sales are absolutely killing it in the game right now even in My Hero's recent chapters which most can agree are kind of a, a little lackluster or more just like not really what anyone kind of wants. <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen, they literally had murals in Shibuya uh, just kind of like, you know, uh, paying homage to the series because of all the crazy stuff that ends up happening in that same arc. Now, strictly in terms of the Demon Slayer Mugen Train movie, that movie grossed over $506.5 million at the box office. So, uh, yeah, that was a success considering that the budget was about $16 million. But the, here's the issue where we come into. A lot of people would say that My Hero Academia has fallen off and wouldn't really be considered a uh, top three even amongst the ones that we show even demon slayer has the similar treatment where a lot of people feel like it just doesn't measure up so what would make a top three what would make a big three what consists of it i do believe that length has something to do with it i think the amount of world building that goes into it is very integral as well and i believe having a certain level of iconicism iconic iconics iconicism whatever you know what i mean having a certain level of notoriety i believe also would help be in the big three so when i say notoriety i mean like these really easily identifiable factors so for example goku being kind of the lovable idiot or naruto being the loud mouth knucklehead ninja or luffy just being the nigga that eats all the time and ichigo kind of being the chill one but he still wants to protect everybody things like that uh, tanjiro has some of these traits as well tanjiro has his smell tanjiro has a woman kindness midoriya also has this kindness and he does have a pretty good intellect as well uh and then Yuji is where we really started kind of in getting into some problems. I absolutely love Jujutsu Kaisen, but I do kind of feel weird putting it in the big three now because I do feel like generally the story, it has a very, like a much faster pace than in some of these other ones that we've discussed previously. I'm not gonna discuss One Piece. I know little to nothing about One Piece, so I can't comment on it. But for example, in Naruto, the first arc, we literally go to the Wayne of Laves. We go to a separate setting. After that, we start getting into uh, tuning exam territory and we start kind of getting into that, seeing what that's all about. We start getting Orochimaru and what he's up to and, and all these different things start seeding themselves. Jutsu Kaisen has a little bit of this, but not as as much as I would like personally. I do think My Hero is probably the most cliche out of all of these, and this isn't a My Hero slander video or anything like that. Please don't get it misconstrued. I like the series, but I, I have to admit, I have not watched the past five or six episodes. <laughs> Uh, that come out. I just I after, after I saw what they did uh, with the Deku versus Shigaraki fight, I just I'm I'm good on this for a little bit. Now here's the thing, M me being completely honest and vulnerable, I would put Chainsaw Man in here, but that's technically a uh, CNN. But I don't. Uh, uh, it really depends, man. It really does depend. So. I'm not sure who I would have put as the top three. I mean, maybe in terms of pure sales, but I don't know in terms of quality if we start getting into real murky territory. Actually, a colleague of mine actually believes that there is no big three and that we will never see that phenomena again. When asked who I would say are the new big three, I said, there is no new big three. Daffy asked me to explain, so here I go acting too lit. Let's start with examples. Michael Jordan was an elite basketball player and arguably the greatest of all time. Who's the next Michael Jordan? Who's the current Michael Jordan? 
You can try to measure who's the closest player to MJ by looking at a bunch of stats and play style. In fact, Jimmy Highroller did exactly that, and his answer was Kawhi. But he doesn't have the same level of success as Jordan. He doesn't have the same ring count, brand deals, or cult fan base. Messi's arguably the greatest footballer. If I ask who's the new Messi, you'd have to find a player who can play like him and be as successful as him. But there is no player like that. If I ask who's the next Michael Jackson, you'd have to find a musician that can sing, compose, and dance like him while having a cult fan base that would faint at the sight of them. There is no next Jordan. There is no next Messi. There is no next Michael Jackson. Messi's not the next Pele, and Mbappe is not the next Messi. They are each their own person. Now let's circle back to the big three. You know why Dragon Ball and Fairy Tail aren't part of the big three? Because the big three is a specific group that doesn't simply rotate its members, just like the name Jordan doesn't move on to the next Hooper. The big three were three shonen jump manga that had ongoing anime when anime exploded in the West. These three became some of the biggest ongoing gateway anime for Western fans. This point is the biggest factor to the title, in my opinion. That's why there will never be another big three. Fairy Tail isn't part of the big three, despite having a similar story and popularity, because it was made too late. Its anime started in 09. One Piece was on 4Kids in 04. Naruto was on Toonami in 05. And Bleach was on Adult Swim in 06. I'm not even sure if the big three is even a term in Japan. That's mostly a western thing. So just because Naruto and Bleach ended, doesn't mean two others are going to take their positions in the big three. That's not how it works. If you want to make new groups, like pairing Black Clover and Hero Academia, that makes sense. In fact, people have a new group called the Dark Triad. I think it's stupid, but it makes more sense than trying to replace the big three. And I think Yumasuke has some very valid points. I want you guys to let me know, who do you think are the big three of anime slash manga right now? Do you think that we will ever see another big three again, or is it even possible to reach that level of status? For me personally, I feel like the big three kind of came at a prime time when anime and manga were kind of soaring into the mainstream, and these are the three most easily accessible at the time, because we did have a lot of garbage come out around that time, I want to be completely honest with you, uh, and we did have a lot of niche stuff like Cowboy Bebop or Samurai Champloo, but those are more cult classics, you know what I mean? And yeah, that'll about do it for uh, this video, guys. Let me know, what do you think would qualify being in the in the new gen big three? Who do you think would be in the new gen big three? And is it even possible to acquire that kind of magic again? Let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you leave a like in the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, it's me, boy, Daffy, guys. I will see you in the next video, all right? Peace.